I said salute to the untouchable True School Sports Empire. <laughs> That's right, over the untouchable. Not only the South Florida boxing scene, but the worldwide boxing scene. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something in the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, wanted to speak about this fighter right here because this is a guy that's been picking up some really good wins against really good names and really good competition in the Bantamweight division. He's been long overdue a video, but after a standout performance like this, let's give it to him. Let, 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 let's give him this True School Sports video, and that's, that's none other than the Philippines' very own Vincent Astrolabio. Yes, that Vincent Astrolabio. He had a very impressive performance this past weekend on the undercard of Frank Martin versus Michelle Rivera. He scored uh, like about three knockdowns and, and got a stoppage victory over the very formidable and highly ranked contender Nikolai Potapov. And this was an IBF world title elimination bout. So with that being said, Astrolabio is in a great position to potentially be fighting for a world title next we know that Nayoa Masha Inoue has all the belts at 118, but he's probably going to vacate them very soon. So when the belts do come become vacant and they do fragment, uh, Astrolabio is going to be right there to fight for the world title. Now, as it stands in the IBF, you know, Potapa was, was, was the number three ranked contender. Emmanuel Rodriguez was the number two ranked contender. And the number one ranked uh, contender is vacant. There's nobody rated at number one. So what that means is that more than likely... Astrolabio is probably going to fight Emmanuel Rodriguez for the IBF title when those belts do fragment. Now, we'll get to that, we'll, we'll get to that potential matchup in a second, but let's talk about Astrolabio in general. You know, the Philippines has a lot of fighters that uh, m most of the time are explosive. I don't care who we're talking about. I don't care if it's Manny Pacquiao, Casemiro, Raymar Caballo, uh, German Ancas. The Philippines... Over the years, Donaire, uh, of course, uh, Donito Donaire, the Philippines have a long storied history, especially in modern boxing over the last 20, 30 years, of churning out explosive, hard-punching, entertaining fighters, you know? Astrolabio is no difference, but what really impresses me about Astrolabio isn't so much that he's just some sort of, like, Filipino power puncher who, who, who abandons defensive responsibility. No, there's a bit more nuance to this guy. He He's... Got a, a very intelligent, high guard, active guard type of defense. He's someone that's always um, on the front foot looking for hard, aggressive counter punches. And he's someone that, like most Filipinos, can explode on a dime and deliver hard, thudding, meaningful, grown man Filipino power punches. So, uh, Astrolabio, what can we say about him? I mean, he's, he, in my opinion, I don't want to jump the gun, but I mean, he beat Rigondeaux. He beat Pot of Pop in sensational fashion. Talent-wise and what I'm seeing from him, I, I like him a lot more than like Mark Moxayo. Like Mark Moxayo, I don't I never really thought was all that great. Um, you know, Joe Nakaz had a long title reign and he gets all the credit for that. But like I don't know. I I just like Astrolabio's skill set and I like what he brings to the table more so than a lot of you know of the younger Filipino fighters of today. Uh I I think he's got a box I think I, I think he's got a really good boxing brain up there. He's got the same viciousness and explosiveness that makes him dangerous like most Filipino fighters tend to be. And I think he's going to get tested. Should he fight Emmanuel Rodriguez next for the world title, um, it's going to be an interesting fight because we know Emmanuel Rodriguez is still a top fighter. We know Emmanuel Rodriguez is coming off of a, of, of a big win against Gary Antonio Russell. And Emmanuel Rodriguez is still one of the best 180 pounders in the world. You know, His stocks kind of died down because of what Inouye did to him, but he can beat most fighters in this weight class uh, that aren't annoyed. And I'm really intrigued to see how Emmanuel Rodriguez handles the explosive power punching of Vincent Astrolabio. And I'm in, I'm excited to see how Vincent Astrolabio potentially handles the uh, the intelligence and the counter punching and the moving and the boxing ability that Emmanuel R Rodriguez brings to the table. Because more than likely, when Inouye vacates and the belts become vacant, that will become the next fight because he's going to fight an eliminator and Rodriguez is the highest available contender. But if you held the gun to my head and you said BT, you said Brendan, the untouchable, true school sports. Do you think Vincent Astrolabio will be the next Filipino boxing world champion? I would say yes. I would say absolutely. I just, I like what I see from him. I, I like the skill set. I like the intelligence. I like the boxing IQ. 
a little bit more than some of the guys we've seen over the last few years, more so than Mike Planilla, more so than Brian Marcabayo, more so than, um, you know, Mark Moxile, even though he was champion. You know, I, I just like what he brings to the table more, and I, and, 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 and I do think, you know, because uh, he is promoted like Jordan Alcaz. He is promoted by many Pacquiao promotions, and he is looking to become the next Filipino world champion. So I, I'm going to say this. If he becomes world champion, if he gets his hand on one, hands on one of those belts, I, I fully anticipate and I fully believe, based on the, 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 the couple fights I've seen in his and, and the fight that's speaking of Potapov, I fully anticipate that Vincent Astrolabio, you know, the, the, the native son of General Santos City in the Philippines, you know, 18 and 3, you don't, he, he don't got the pretty record. You know, uh, he had some tough losses early in his career domestically in the Philippines, but he's fought his way out of that, and he's fought his way to a place where he is now one of the best bantamweights in the world. And, 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 and that right there in itself, it already shows you the fact that he's already suffered two losses, one by majority, um, one by knockout, and one by UD. You know, the fact that he's already had losses in his career, and it didn't break him, and it didn't fold him, and he still was able to come back and beat multiple top names and top contenders in this weight class, it, it it tells you everything you need to know about Vince Ashalabio. So I'm behind him, and I want if there was a guy from the Philippines active in boxing right now that I want to see become champion is is him. He he definitely won me over in this Potapov fight because Potapov's no slug. Potapov, this is a guy at Potapov, you know, who's fought at a high level for a very long time, a, a veteran of, of well over 25 fights in boxing. Um, Potapov can really fight. So to beat Potapov, it shows me and, and beat him in devastating fashion, stopping him even faster than the great Omar Nevaez did. Back when he fought him in 2017, it shows me that Vincent Ashalabio does have that extra bit of quality to him, and, and there is a, a really good fighter in there. So, uh, yeah, I think he will be the next uh, world champion from the Philippines. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about Vincent Ashalabio and uh, what do you think about his chances of winning a world title in his next fight in 2023. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding, from Daniel. So until next time, take care. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.